everyone. Awesome. Well, I'm really excited for uh, my next talk. It's one of my very, very favorite topics in life. <laughs> um, and as Kara mentioned, I'm just going over the very, very basics of social media, Social Media 101. We, of course, can chat more if you, uh, if you have further questions. So um, I'll ask, while we're getting this ready, show of hands, who loves social media and feels really good about it? One? I saw, I saw our marketing girls over here. Awesome. Yes, perfect, perfect. That's good to hear. At least a few of you feel really good about it. I know it's like a, a whole different world and it can be tricky, but it's also really, really fun too. So you can look at it that way and super beneficial for your business as well. Okay, so first of all, if you're thinking, why should I be posting on social media? What's the benefit of it? There's a lot of benefits. So the amount of times that internet users spend on social media nowadays is higher now than ever. Everyone's on social media, right? My 80-year-old grandma's on social media. She knows how to use it. So it doesn't really matter age any longer. Everyone's on social media. So it's really important for you to be present there. Oh, I can see better this way. Um, patients are also using social media to learn about medical aesthetics. I do this. I, I go and find my, my service providers through social media. You can have all of the information that your patients want to know on social media, your address, uh, all about you, your before and after photos, your treatment videos. So it's really important to be, to be present again. It also allows you to connect and engage with your audience outside of the treatment room, which is really great. Just keep building on that connection. It also builds brand awareness, which is important. People can become aware of who you are as long as we do it correctly, which I'll talk more about. Um, also, effective target marketing. If we do that correctly, I'll talk a little bit about that. And it helps your business to stay relevant. Really in this you know, digital era that we're in, to be relevant, you, especially in our industry, right? You have to be on social media and you have to do it well. So we'll talk, talk about how to do that. All right, so no matter whether, so if you are brand new, like a brand new clinic, or you've been posting on social media for a while, you have to know your audience. Who are you targeting? What type of content do they like to see? How do they like to be spoken to? What type of treatments do they like? And then you post about those things. And when you post about those things, they connect with you. They relate to what you're posting. They're going to like you. So it's really, really important to know who you're targeting. So some questions to ask yourself is, who is my ideal patient? Uh, and their age, their, their gender, how much money do they make? How much money do they have to spend at your, at your practice? What social media platforms are they using? That's really important, right? Because you want to spend all of your time and energy there, really. And you can just ask them that, maybe do little surveys with your patients. Um, what type of content do they enjoy? Do you have like a younger, um, younger uh, patients to where maybe they like really funny trends and whatnot, or are they older and you kind of have to change up your content? And then how do they prefer to be spoken to through marketing? So really, really important questions to ask yourself. And then also, actually, let me back up. Um, knowing your audience really helps you to maximize your marketing efforts. You're not spending all this time, energy, and sometimes money, right? Um, as well as you just, you just know your audience better and what they want, a better understanding of them. So branding. Branding is so, so, so important. And to consistently show your brand identity on social media. There's a lot of different types of branding, right? Um, but on social media, uh, it really is the number one way to leverage visual branding right now. And what is visual branding? It's your colors and your logo, essentially. And it's also you, and it's also your staff. You guys are part of your brand. So it's important to show up, which I'll talk about later. So why this is important, um, because it uh, builds trust. It also, people will recognize you and you will become more memorable. So there's a lot more potential there, you know, for you to attract patients. So consistently share your brand identity. Make sure your colors, you know, are in your post when you use text, uh, like on reels and whatnot. Make sure it's your brand colors. Make sure you put your logo, super important. Awesome, how, how does everyone feel about reels and TikTok and videos? <laughs> I saw someone go, ah. Uh. <laughs> Social media has changed a ton in the past few years, right? Instagram went from a picture app and now it's like a video app. So we kind of have to continually keep up with these different changes and that's due to TikTok, right? 
So short form videos are huge. We really, really should be posting that uh, a lot, honestly. Of course, we can still post photos, uh, but the short form videos are really important. Um, not only for your patients, it's just generally, just in the space we're in right now on social media, this is the type of content that everyone loves, right? And it's more engaging, which is really great too. But also within the algorithm, it typically performs better because this is just the type of content that's popular right now. So not only will your patients love it, but also it's gonna help you out within the algorithm too, along with other things that we have to do to, to help the algorithm boost your posts. So when filming short form videos, just some uh, important things to keep in mind just to make sure everything looks really nice and, and, and appealing. Uh, make sure to film in a vertical format. You know, we don't wanna see two black you know, lines above your video. We want it nice, nice and vertical in the correct dimensions. Also make sure to hook your audience. So you can just honestly Google like social media video hooks. So it's um, just using language like, I'm so excited to, guess what? Um, we have something really exciting. You know, it's just some, some type of language that catches their attention and makes them want to keep watching. So really, really important to do that right now. And if you are aware of hooks, if you go onto social media, you'll, you'll see them all, all the time. Um, also, I know it's not up here, but typically shorter content does perform better or you'll, um, your video completion rate will be better. So short, sweet, to the point. Um, also, make sure to post treatment videos. People are learning, again, about medical aesthetics um, through social media. So post you doing treatment videos so that they can learn like, oh, that's what that looks like. Oh, the patient looks comfortable. That looks really nice. Again, they're learning. Um, make sure to frequently include a CTA or a call to action, whether that's in your caption or it's actually in your content. Essentially telling your audience what to do next after they've you know, watched your, your video or, or seen your photo. Do you want them to read the caption where maybe it has a bit more information? Do you want them to go to the link in your bio to book an appointment? Do you want them to send you a DM? Something like that, just telling them what to do after they've seen that content. And then also follow trends. This is all you know, what social media is about these days. Kara and I actually just filmed one <laughs> out front. So keep, keep an eye on what's trending and you know, how you can put that into your practice and, and showcase yourselves. Post consistently. Consistency is key, right, in everything in life. So we don't want to you know, post last month and oh, I guess I'll post one time this month too. You're not giving yourself enough off, um, opportunity to show up in front of your target audience, right? So it's really, really important that we keep, um, keep showing up. So this also builds trust and reliability with your audience. Also really great for the algorithm, right? When we're posting consistently. Increases engagement. And in the social media world, engagement is everything. So this is likes, shares, and comments. And when this happens, you know, you have a really high engagement rate. It's kind of like a sign of like, oh, wow, my, my audience really likes what I'm posting. But it's also going to help you out within the algorithm as well to, to boost that post to more people. So engagement is key. And then also, again, brand recognition. You're becoming more memorable and more recognizable. So there's kind of rules, right? Facebook, one to two times per day. One time a day is enough. <laughs> two times can be a little bit much. Instagram is three to five times per week. Instagram stories, there's really no rule, honestly. I just said at least two, but also don't post like a million stories in a day necessarily. It can, it can start to be too much. So at least have a couple of stories up every single day, but you can of course do, do more than that too. And then TikTok is one to four times per day. So, so quite, a, quite a bit more. Okay, this is my favorite tip, and it's such a small thing to do, but it's so important. So it's, you must, must, must show your face. I really like cry inside when I, when I go to a social media page and it's all stock photos. Like, ah, oh, like who is behind this brand? People, I think Audrey said this yesterday, people want to connect with people. Right? They're not looking to connect with the business, they're connecting with you. And in medical aesthetics, trust is everything, right? And if we can start building on that right away through social media, and then of course when they come into your practice, it's everything. So 
post uh, about you, right? Post a photo, show up in your reels, talk to your audience, just, just get up and talk. It, it doesn't have to be anything super fancy. And it's nice because you can just keep redoing your video if you don't like it, right? So if you're shy, it's okay. <laughs> just keep redoing it till you like it. So it truly is everything to really build trust and connection with your patients uh, and your audience. And again, you are your brand at the end of the day. So I better see everyone's face on social media on Monday. <laughs> Awesome. So um, last but not least, I know it's cheesy, but have fun and be authentic. People really read that through social media now and people really value authenticity over anything else. You know, social media has changed so much over the years. So just have fun. It can be a really great time with you and your staff, you know, filming uh, reels and TikToks together. Um, it, it's just super fun. Be yourself at the end of the day. Uh, people really, really appreciate that. Um, I think I have a couple minutes. Any questions?